How to make your own isomalt in hot sugar molds with a food safe reusable molding putty. Start with the shapes that you want to make into sugar or isomalt candies. Clean these shapes well. Now prepare your molding material by softening the impressive putty in the microwave for about 45 seconds for the 6 ounce size. We also have a 1.5 ounce size, a 1 pound size and a 5 pound size available. Let the putty cool so it is easy to handle without being too hot but still moldable. You can actually let it cool to below 100 degrees Fahrenheit and still form it as we do here. And press, thus the name, the putty over your shapes. Here we are using some tools to emphasize that this is your tool for creative mold making. After you have pressed it over your shapes, let the mold cool. In the freezer this takes about 20 minutes to solidify to a rubber. You know it is ready when you press on the mold and it doesn't leave an indentation. Pull out your original shapes. First we took out the adjustable wrench and then the pliers. You will notice that the putty is still flexible enough to bend around the shape, but firm enough for press molding. There's our mold. Oh no, there's a small hole in the putty. Luckily you don't have to worry. Good thing this is a reusable molding material. With just a little heat you can fix the mold or reshape it. Just take a piece of the putty from somewhere else and reheat it. We do this with the hot air gun but you can also use a hair dryer or other heating source. This is one of the big benefits of the impressive putty. You can remelt and reuse any time you want. We place the pliers back into the mold to keep the shape while we reform the putty to fill the small void. Heat both parts of the mold so the parts will stick together. And just like that, in about 30 seconds we fix this mold and we are ready to pour in our casting material, either the ice mold or the hot sugar. Isomalt is a nice sugar substitute that can be melted at relatively low temperatures. We melted the ice mold in the microwave. When you pour the ice mold into your mold, be sure that it has cooled to around 200 degrees Fahrenheit. For larger ice mold candies, you may need to chill your mold a bit. However, you want to try not to chill it if you can help it so that the ice mold will flow into the crevices of your mold a little bit better. So experiment with your shape. At any time, you can remake or fix the mold, so don't worry about breaking anything. Now just pull out your casting and admire. Ta-da! And now here is the pliers. Voila! To keep a nice shiny finish on the ice mold candies, you should spray the candies with an edible glaze. And because this is reusable, we want to show you another mold. Here's a keychain of a Volkswagen Beetle car. Now it's going to be a lollipop. We used one and a half ounces of the putty for this small lollipop mold. Heat in the microwave for about 14 seconds. Let cool so you can handle it easily. Press over your shape. Let this cool. Cut a little slot full of lollipop stick. Now you're ready to pour in your ice mold. Add your lollipop stick. Let this cool again. And ta da! Admire your new lollipop. Now we show the same mold with the pulled sugar. Pulled sugar castings are more advanced. Let the pulled sugar cool to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit or below before pouring into your mold. Here we are basically pressing the pulled sugar into the molds and using the mold as a press mold. Be very careful with both the hot sugar and the ice mold because they can burn you. Gloves are recommended. Add in the lollipop stick and you have yourself a creative and unique lollipop and candy treat. So these are just a few things that you can make, but let your creativity go wild. The impressive putty is extremely easy to use. So just experiment and let's see what you make. Thank you very much for watching. Let us know if you have any questions and visit us at impressiveputty.com.
Beep, beep.